Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online solution for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you'll see some very short examples of the Synchronous Technology update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the fourth part modeling session and shows how to use the pattern command in a synchronous model. When it comes to patterning geometry in a synchronous model, there are three different types. These are rectangular, circular, and along a curve. Just like the mirror function, they work in the object action mode, so the geometry being patterned needs to be selected first. Patterns are also procedural features. This means that their parameters may be modified at any time after creation. We'll start with a circular pattern. We have a cutout in the wall of this part which needs patterning around the outside. So we'll start by selecting the geometry that makes up the cutout and the rounds in the bottom corners. Then select the circular pattern command. This will launch the quick bar which contains all the settings for the pattern. We should now lock to an appropriate plane for the pattern. The top face looks suitable for this. Remember F3 serves as a shortcut to lock to a plane. Then define the centre of the pattern. Here we will select the centre of the inside circular edge. Then pick some point on the geometry being patterned before defining a direction. The default is to pattern around by 360 degrees. However, hitting the arc option on the quick bar will allow us to change that if required. Notice how the direction we define controls the direction of the arc. For this example, we'll switch back to 360 degrees. The circular pattern can either be a fit pattern where the count is defined and the angle between each instance is computed, or it can be a fill pattern where the angle is defined and the count is computed. We'll define a fit pattern and set the count to 18. At this stage we can also define instances of the pattern to be removed by hitting the suppress instance command in quick bar, then selecting the green dot near the ones to be removed. Selecting them again will cause them to reappear. Once the pattern is defined, hit the right mouse button or the green tick in Quick Bar to process the feature. Editing the pattern is a simple case of selecting the face set for it in the Pathfinder or by using Quick Pick, then selecting the Edit Definition handle. The pattern parameters will then appear on the screen along with the Quick Bar. Here we'll change the pattern count to 10. Also at this stage, it is possible to add additional geometry to the pattern. This is done by hitting the option in the quick bar and then identifying the features to add before processing the pattern. 